All right, guys, just gonna <clears throat> update my build log. The system's pretty much done in this truck. Well, for now, anyway. Um, got Pioneer 80 PRS head unit up front and in. Got Crescendo BC2000 running DSS Ethos 15. Box is 3.6 cube, tuned at 29 hertz. It's not really designed to get super loud, but it is designed to get low and sounds good doing it. And the box plays extremely flat. But anyway, I got sundown components up front, six and a half in the door stock location, tweeters in the stock location. Up here, Bitman was real good on that. Just had to make some mount panels for them to go to, some mounting rings, but other than that, everything went good there. They're not quite as loud as what I would want, so I'm probably going to be switching this stuff out soon. But um, got the Valentine one up front telling me to slow the fuck down. Show you the back. Go around the truck first. It's a nasty day. 2012 F250 lift, wheels, tires. In the back. I removed the 40 split. I got a wiring nightmare going on back here but it's all in and good it just I got to clean it up run some wire loom tighten everything up incriminated audio 6.4 on the mids and highs only running one channel off of it um, or two of the channels of the four channel just running the components right now I don't have anything in the rear Box is set up over there where the 40 split was. Port runs behind the seat. As you can see, like 44 square inches of port, 45 square inches of port on this uh, on that box. Subs on the front, you can't see it. I'll move that seat up over there. Put a little music on. You can see if we can make that sub move. It's brand new. I just put it in um, yesterday, two days ago. So it's got some breaking in to do. You can see the other side of the four channel. Armrest on the box. I got all my wire. I didn't use any of the factory wire. I got new concepts. 16 gauge and twisted. Coming through the A pillar, running in through the grommet. See the sub here. This camera's shaky as hell. You apologize. Got it's an awesome sub. I'm extremely impressed with it. I've had a um, FIQ in that box. I've had a FI or FI, however you pronounce it, SP4 in that box. I've had a Zcon in that box. And just honestly, the DSS does everything those subs did just as loud. The sub just hammers the lows out play a little song.
I can play this uh, pretty much full tilt on the lowest stuff I've got in here, which is down into the mid 20s. And it takes a good two songs full tilt for the sub to even start getting warm. I've got, like I said, I've got the BC 2000 running at one ohm. So a good voltage it might be seeing. I don't know. Whatever it's seeing, it could see a lot more. Personally, I think probably 3K or 3,500 watts would be about the sweet spot daily for one of these subs. If you're smart, you know what you're doing. Play some lows in here.
like I said, these go wide open. No smell, barely one. That's it.